think of a toilet paper in the Civil War? <laughs> what if the toilet paper was like the 1860s? Did they, did they carry it in rolls in the duffel bags? Even you come down a toilet paper. <laughs> what? That's always the first question with you. Why is that always your focus? All right, then what did they do? I don't know. Maybe they gave out big loose clumps to all the soldiers. <laughs> I think it would be nice if there was some sort of historical record of it. Maybe they should have a toilet paper museum. Would you like that? <laughs> so we can see all the toilet paper advancements down through the ages. Toilet paper during the Crusades. The development of the preparation. The first six pepper. <laughs> Excuse me, Jerry? I'm Stu Chermack. I'm from NBC. Oh. Uh, can we speak for a few moments? Sure, sure. Hi, Jay Crespi. Hello. Uh, C-R-E-S-P-I. That's right. I'm unbelievable at spelling last names. Give, give me a last name. Uh, I'm not George. Really? Huh? All right. <laughs> First of all, that was a terrific show. Oh, thank you very much. Right. And basically, I just wanted to let you know that we've been discussing you in some of our meetings, and we'd be very interested in doing something. Really? Wow. Dude, so if you had an idea for, like, a, a TV show for yourself, well, we just love to talk about it. I'd be very interested in something like that. Well, here, uh, why don't you give us a call and maybe we can uh, develop a series. Okay, great. Nice. It was very nice meeting you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. What was that all about? They said they were interested in me. Well, uh, you know, TV show. <laughs> Your own show? Yeah, I guess so. Come on, you do a TV show? Yeah. They want me to come up with an idea, man. I don't have any ideas. Come on, how hard is that? Look at all the junk that's on TV. <laughs> right, you want an idea? Here's an idea. You coach a gymnastics team in high school, and you're married, and your son is not interested in gymnastics, and you're pushing him into gymnastics. Why should I care if my son's into gymnastics? Because you're a gymnastics teacher. It's only natural. But gymnastics is not for everybody. I know, but he's your son. So what? <laughs> Alright, forget that idea. It's not for you. Okay, 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 I got it. You run an antique store. <laughs> yeah. And? And, and people come into the store and you will get involved in their lives. <laughs> what person who runs an antique store gets involved in people's lives? <laughs> Why not? So someone comes in to buy an old lamp, and suddenly I'm getting them out of a jam. <laughs> I could see if I was a pharmacist, because a pharmacist knows what's wrong with everybody that comes in. No, but antiques are very popular right now. No, they're not. They used to be. Oh, sure. Like you know, like you do. Research shows that people remember ads with young people having a good time. So to help